It's time for an update on the ram pump intake that I installed two weeks ago. I'm happy to say it has been running non-stop for two weeks and is doing great. So let's take it apart here and see how much sediment's in the bucket and how much is in the intake itself. So as you can see, it is flowing very well here into the bucket. It has a full stream of water. So let's pour most of the top water out and see what kind of sediment we have in here. All right, it's very loose, so it's not very solid sediment. Hopefully you can see this. All right, just real loose stuff. It's kind of dirty, murky water, but... Yeah, so that is very fine sediment. Very little of it. I would say, after two weeks, probably only about a quarter inch of real sediment in there. Very, very fine. Let me wash that out. Okay, so as you can see, there is nothing in the bucket. <laughs> I said that last time and someone said it is neither empty nor clean. Clean enough, right? All right, so let's put this back in here and let it uh, continue. And then my next task after knowing this good information is to make another bucket intake like I have on my other ram pump set up. And we'll be using it kind of as a full guide to ram pump setup. As you can see, the intake is doing quite well. It has a little bit of debris stuck on the screen, but almost everything has passed right over. I'm also noticing that there is some silt and debris building up along the bottom of it, but it's really not that bad. So what I want to do now is pull the rocks off of here and then remove just this top section that is actually uh, doing all the work and leave the bottom section attached there. This is the main reason I did not glue these together. Let's see if I can do that without tearing anything apart. There we go. All right. So, this seems to be doing quite well, keeping the uh, this flow rate up. There's a little bit of silt inside there, from what I can tell. And this one has silt and sediment that's really fine stuff, which is exactly what I was hoping. It's passing all of the big sand and leaves and sticks and it's just capturing really fine, icky stuff. So that's really good news. I think this is a very valid means of a ram pump intake. So what I'm gonna do now, wash all this out and put it back and let it keep doing its thing. That way we can move on to the, the new bucket intake. That will be an issue whenever you move it. It's going to uh, try to raise up again. That should do it though. For the next installment of this ram pump series, I'm gonna take this intake water and pour it into a bucket, kind of like I have down here. Except I want to midway up that bucket have an output for the drive pipe to ram pump. And then I wanna have a second hole at the bottom for draining out that really fine silt that was in there. That way, it'll have a great intake to another bucket intake, which will help filter out even more silt so that the ram pump never has to get all that fine powdery silt. So it will hopefully be able to run 24 seven without interference. So. Thank you so much for watching this update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a good comment, uh, one thing that was mentioned last time was instead of using a little five gallon bucket, why not use a 55 gallon drum? And that is an excellent observation and suggestion. My thoughts for my personal setup here is that I'm just testing concepts. So 
for your actual install, definitely use a bigger tub and let it uh, hold up more silt at the bottom and have even less potential for getting debris into the ram pump. So stuff like that is good information to share. If you've got some, write it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.